Hello, and welcome to the Haas Tip of the Day, where we cover the topics that every Haas machinist needs to know. My name is Mark Terryberry, and today we're going to look at our G47 engraving cycle. Now, with just a few lines of code, we can engrave text and even sequential serial numbers on our parts and our fixtures right from the Haas control without the use of a cam system. Right now we're engraving a part number on this motorcycle chain guard along an angle. And to do that, we need to convey certain pieces of information to the control. And all that information is kept in our G47 engraving line. Let's take a look at that. Our G47 engraving starts with a P0. That just tells the control that we're engraving text and not a serial number. Now, everything inside the parentheses is what we're going to engrave on the part. Next we come to our X, Y coordinates. Now this is where we start our engraving. Our starting point, that X, Y location, is at the lower left hand corner of the first character that we engrave. When we're done engraving, my tool is always going to end up at the bottom right hand corner of the last character that we engrave. Now on this part, we're engraving at an angle. The I value defines the angle at which we're going to engrave. We can use any value between 0 and 360 in either the positive or the negative direction. Our I value is at minus 35.78 degrees. So from our XY start location, that's where we rotate about. So we're going to be engraving at this negative angle. Next, we come to our J value. The J value defines the height of our letters. Now, the spacing in between those letters is controlled automatically by the G47 cycle. We're almost there. We've got our R value, which defines the rapid plane. The Z value is our final engraving depth. We're using an F80, which is the feed rate at which we're engraving in the XY direction. And finally, we have an E40, which is the feed rate at which we plunge into the material. Now, if we want cleaner text, we want to sharpen up the corner of our engraving text, we can add a G187 to our engraving line. This tightens up the tolerance on our machining. G187 P3 E.002. If we were in metric mode, we could use an E.050. After our engraving, we can cancel this with a G187. Well, that's it for our G47 text engraving. Let's take a look at the part. Now, we've created some other G47 tip of the day videos for you. We've got one that engraves a serial number on a part, and another one that takes our engraving and wraps it around the outside of a rotary part. You can click on the link at the bottom of your screen now to see those videos. It looks pretty good, and it was easy with our G47 cycle. Thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.